everybody hope your day is going well we are back with another reaction righteous brothers unchained melody and this is a live version from 1965 on the andy williams show i do believe it's only bobby hadfield who will be singing this uh this was a request by debbie thank you so much for this request and donation and i do know this song i must say you know this is not the first time i ever hear this song because you know i gotta be honest i've also done a few reactions to covers of this song but i've never seen a live version of this song so here we go i do know it's from the uh film unchained which is a prison movie uh, I've seen that one a long time ago. I mentioned that in the other videos too. And of course, it's more known nowadays because of Ghost, which is also a great film, right? Come on. And I've done one reaction to Righteous Brothers. You've lost that loving feeling. And I definitely want to do more. So here we go. Unchained Melody. Ladies and gentlemen, the Righteous Brothers. You know, I know you've been asked this uh, maybe a thousand times, but I've got to ask it. How did you get the name Righteous Brothers? Well, in the beginning, when we started singing together, we thought of using the combination of Hatfield and Medley. And oh, that's the, the two names. Hatfield, that's Medley, the skinny yeah. one. And, uh, <laughs> and all we came up was, well, we had the Hatleys and the Medfields, and that uh, didn't... And Bob and Bill really didn't knock a lot of people out. <laughs> <laughs> So we worked in a club down south, and uh, after our first show, some guy stood up and yelled out, "That's righteous, brother!" And we've been known as Ooh. that ever since. Hey, well, that's <coughs> okay. you know my brothers and I. Went I'm very happy that I've uh, I've seen this now. Now I know the origin of their name. Oh, that's cool. And uh, Mr. Hatfield over here, his speaking voice is he can he can hey. Where's the bedtime stories narrated by uh, Bobby Hatfield? You know, my brothers and I, when we first started singing together, we needed a name, and a fellow in the audience yelled out at us, <clears throat> but we couldn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Get Lost Brothers? Uh, <laughs> get why don't, lost. Oh, you know what? I was going to say, why don't you do something else, uh, another song, but the one I really would like to hear you do is um, Unchained Melody. Great song. Why don't I'd, you do I'd do that one by myself, you know. How come? Wow, he come and did it. I didn't think it was going to be a hit. <laughs> oh. What do you usually do when he's singing? Find a little corner and uh, kick myself a lot. <laughs> come on, I'll show you the corner I use whenever I hear Tony Bennett sing San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, these guys are hilarious, man. That is so cool that I've, I, I've gotten a little bit of a, a mini history lesson here. So one of them actually never thought this was, was going to be a hit. And now he's getting a timeout. <laughs> that's, so, that's so good. Wow. And look at this, man. We are still listening to this song today. And this is one for the books. This is an iconic song. Let's listen to it. Oh, come on. This has got to be one of the most iconic songs of all time. There's so many iconic songs, but come on. Give it up for Unchained Melody. 
you know, if you take it to the prison film, you know, and I've probably mentioned that in uh, the other videos, but then, you know, time goes by so slowly, you hunger for somebody's touch, you know, oh my God. And his voice is just, wow. Like I said about his speaking voice, but then he takes that into singing and it becomes, it's so smooth, buttery, warm. It's like a comforting blanket, but then he goes into a more powerful uh, note there. Like, okay, I can do this too. Uh, and it seems to come so easy, you know, or they make it look easy, but wow, it is it's amazing. amazing. This is, this is stuff of legends right there. <laughs> gonna go on stage and sing a song you know certain people can do that but then you never know which one is gonna survive for so many years you know this is 65 you know we're almost in 2025 so almost 60 years later and you know i must imagine it will be around for much much longer uh, incredible what a range you know because you know when he goes into deeper tones it sounds really warm but then at the end he could go up and up and up and up like wow and everything in between amazing and it was almost like i could feel like everybody has their own memories linked to certain songs or certain songs uh invoke or evoke certain memories for everybody you know while we listen to this song things will be flashing by and i almost felt that together with everybody who's watching or who's listening to this song like everybody has their living room story with this song or you know wherever you were a night you know a drink at the table who knows in the dark in the light a wedding i don't know but almost like if you really open up Maybe it's just my strong imagination, but there's a, a connection there, you know, you feel that, uh, and that's pretty powerful stuff. And not a lot of songs will do that, you know, cause there's many songs in the world and everybody has a memory to a certain song, but this is like one, like, Ooh, I could feel it, man. I could feel it. Beautiful.
and this one, of course, I, I've, like I've said, I've listened to many covers, but nothing comes close to this. <laughs> Yo, this was amazing. It was nothing short of criminal that I haven't checked this one out on the channel. And I apologize for that. Thanks to Debbie, we rectified that situation. Thank you again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.